How's the Royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, you see, I'm calling this Becky 2.0. And everything popped off here this summer in the Bay Area. Many know it. And I still can't even decide yet what meme I'm going to be what I'm going to put up because there is so many. <laughs> I mean, there's so many. So I have to call it Becky 2.0. 2 and family, after all this time, um, in which it is a popcorn video, you see it's a little bit of length on it. Um, I'm going to play the entire um, 911 um, audio um, when Becky called, when she called, man, juicy. That's all I can see. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Oh, so juicy to me. <laughs> so let's listen to this. Man, kick your heels up. All right, here we go. Let's see here. Let's just get it going here. Open, please, and see us. Um, yeah, I'd like to report that someone is illegally using a charcoal grill in a non-designated area on um, in Lake Merritt Park, kind of near Cleveland Cascade. I'd like it to dealt with immediately so that coals don't burn more children and our city has to pay more taxes. Okay, and where is this again? Um, it's on Lakeshore Avenue uh, in Lake Merritt, um, near Cleveland Cascade, um, across the street from 2324 Lakeshore Avenue. All right, and the person that's using the grill, uh, I need a description of them. What race are they? Um, African American. And how old approximately? I'd say about 40. Okay. Or late 30s. What color clothing is he wearing? He is wearing dark black pants or a wrist and a black sweatshirt um, with an orange logo on it. I have a picture of it. All right. And how tall is he approximately? Um, he's sitting down, so I'm not sure. And is he thin, medium, or heavy build? A heavier build. More muscular build. All right. And do you want officers to come in contact with you when they get there? Yeah. Okay, and what is your name? Jennifer Schulte. And what's the phone number for you? Okay, we'll give you a call when we get there. Okay, thanks. thanks. Bye. Oakland police say sorry. I called about two hours ago about someone that was illegally grilling with a charcoal grill and make my mouth. Now people are being assertive and they're still just pushing me and stop me. I was wondering when the police are going to come and help me. What's the address there? Um, I am right across from Cleveland Cascade. I called two hours ago at about 11.02 this morning. And there has been no police that called me back, and now they're shoving me. And what, what is the address there? Where you were um, Lakeshore, Lakeshore and Cleveland Cascade, also 2324 Lakeshore. 2323 Lakeshore? 2324 Lakeshore. It's in the park. Oh, oh, it's park. I, I made a report in the, at about 11.02 this morning. They said they would send a police the officer. Who's yelling in the background? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I know. I don't understand. That's why, why is, we why have the person yelling? I, I don't know. It's a panic over a barbecue. I, I don't understand. Are you in the park yourself? Yes, I am. I have to wait this minute ago. Okay, so why are you in an argument with these people? Can you walk away? I'm in my car. Did you follow me? Did you follow me? Did you follow me? Why are you here? What? Why are you here? I, I, I had 
Um, uh, please look up where the place where the call that I made at 1120 where I gave I all my have information. It here. Just tell me your name. I, I, I would like a police officer to come as soon as possible. They're coming, okay, but look, you need to listen, okay? I'm ready to You're You're in Lake Mary. I am. Yes, I am. How are they going to find you? What race are you and what are you wearing? It's a lot of people out there. They have my cell phone number. Just tell them they have your cell phone number. Just look for a lady at Lake at Lake, Lake Merritt Park today. You're going to have to tell me what race you are, how old you are, and what are you wearing. They will never find you. I was told that when they are here, they're going to call my cell phone. They, why would they do that? They're I don't know, but the previous person told me yeah, you're talking that would happen. Right now. You, you're talking to someone right now. They're coming, but they're coming to Lake Merritt today. They're never going to just find a lady calling the police. I'm in Cleveland Park here, I'm wearing a dark navy blue sweatshirt and, and jeans, and I have brown hair about shoulder length. And I have people harassing me. What race are you, and how old are you? <laughs> my race doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And how are we going to find you? Is yeah. any lady? <laughs>
speakerphone? No, no, you are not. Can you put me on speakerphone? I heard that. No. You stole it. You stole it. I want to know where the police are. Okay, they're coming. Oh, wow. We have lots of video footage. I am now almost at Brooklyn and Lakeshore Avenue, and they're still following me. You're the one that stole my car. Give me the car back. Give me the car back. You want me to follow you all the way through or something? Well, this is here. This is here. Okay. So my property. I'm going to call the police. Are you still by the Cleveland Cascade? I told you I was walking the Cool West Cascade to Brooklyn Avenue. I'm not in front of Brooklyn Avenue in Lakeshore. It's about a block away. Do you guys not know the city of Oakland Street? Where is the police officer? They're coming. None of them have weapons? I don't know what they have or do not have. Do you? Yes, when they continue to follow me. Why were you there? Get away from me. Do you have anything that belongs to that woman that's following you asking you for No, I do not. No, I do not. Walking up Brooklyn Avenue, and I'm going to enter the quick stop so that there's another person. To Are you entering the quick stop? I'm going to be going to the quick stop from Brooklyn Avenue and and Merritt Street. She stole my car. She's trying to escape. She's the one that's actually doing illegal activity. She's a criminal. I just believe you can't tell people all the time that you're the one that's doing shit. Do you see the police here? No, I do not. Take the police. I don't. All right, my royal family, that is the end of that mess. And I'm going to, this won't be this article, it'll be another article that I'm going to put in and scroll to the very bottom. You'll see the unquote minutes because you know they'll type the audio because sometimes it's so broken up. They have to go back and listen to it and make sure that they get the correct language, especially if they have to use it um, <clears throat> in the courts and stuff like that. And so basically, we all know, like I said, everything jumped off here in the Bay Area. And I took the joy of showing y'all various memes. And, um, but I'm not, you know, we can joke a little bit, but let's, on a serious note, we learned some things this summer that we learned that the, how the enemy is watching us closely and they're watching the entire royal family and we are, uh, under total siege we have to continue to fully keep our royal babies fully protected and this taught us something how 
the enemy is watching every movement and what we have learned is just existing is a crime in their mind isn't that amazing just existing and whatever they feel like coming up with they use um um, the police force is their personal bodyguard and they feel the need to keep us in our place because again just existing seems to really bother the enemy and we need to be on full alert with these people and I'm not saying to walk in fear now what I learned and many others who have been posting various videos um, about them calling calling on us for the most frivolous thing is that <clears throat> basically the government is fully supporting all of this all fashions of police force is because when it comes to us they cannot take that chance go ahead and continue to make the calls and we will make the assessment and we know that one of those calls could end up literally getting our brains blowed out I mean we have called the police for self to deal with people um, um, inflicting crime on us but because of who and what we are the enemy does not look to protect us they are doing what they're supposed to do they are supposed to protect their own in this system they do not look at us as citizens but they will take our taxpayers money they say they are supposed to protect and serve but they only protect and serve one one entity on this planet and we already know who it is so let's not even play games stop insulting our intelligence big brother is watching you and we have been talking about this for many many years and now we see it and they cannot explain it away and I have I keep repeating myself and I said I have to give it to the enemy. They've been good on staying on cold, but they cannot stay on cold on this one because um, whatever crap that they got in their head about us, um, they are so petrified for us uh, literally breathing that if we don't breathe in a proper fashion that maybe they need to call the police because um, they just got to be sure. So they will always continue to call and we need to always continue to expose the enemy for their unquote hypervia over us and how they distort things and make make nothing out of something in the end the police force know exactly what's going on and it all depends on what police officers show up and if the police officer decide to engage or not engage but I guarantee you, this will never, ever stop. As long as the enemy is existing on this earth, they're going to always subjugate us. They're going to always kill us. They're going to always hate us. And I could sit up here all night and talk about what they're going to always do. But in anything that they're going to always do to us, remember this, my royal family, it's going to always be negative always so that's basically it my royal family so I tell you what render your voice with your beautiful divine words and as always my royal family I thank you for your love I thank you for your support and with that said Ashe.